Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's see what we need to do when we multiply two numbers together that contain uncertainties. The rules are different from addition and subtraction. So here are the two numbers, 26.4 centimeters plus or minus 0.4 centimeters times 34.6 centimeters plus or minus 0.4 centimeters. What we need to do first is take these uncertainties and convert them to percentages. What percentage is 0.4 of 26.4? For example, what we do here is we take 0.4 divided by 26.4 and multiply times 100%. All right, using a calculator, 26.4 and multiply times 100% and we get, ooh, let me try that again, 0.4 divided by 26.4, it's about 1.5%. So what we're going to do now is rewrite this as 26.4 centimeters plus or minus 1.5 percent. And then we're going to multiply that times this, and again we're going to convert the 0.4 uh, to percent. So notice that this is 0.4 relative to 34.6 is going to be a smaller percent as 0.4 relative to 26.4. So we get 0.4 divided by 34.6 times 100 percent. And let's see what that is equal to. 0.4 divided by 34.6 we get rounded off, that would be 1.2%. And then, of course, we move that over here. So we have 34.6 centimeters plus or minus 1.2%. Now when we multiply, we need to multiply that together. So we have 26.4 times 34.6. So it gives us 900 and 13.44 centimeters squared, of course it's centimeters times centimeters with centimeters squared, plus or minus. Now what we do here is we add percent uncertainty, so we add 1.5 to 1.2, that gives us 2.7 percent. Now take a look at this, realizing that here we have three significant figures, here we have three significant figures, so here we should only have three significant figures, which means we really should get rid of the 0.44 that's really not meaningful. The next step is now to figure out how big 2.7% is of 913. So there we go, 2.7% of the final result of 913 centimeters squared is equal to, so we have 913 times uh, 2.7% that is equal to 24.651 so that would be 24.651 centimeters squared but again way too many significant figures simply round this off to 25 centimeters squared and then come back over here and say okay this is equal to 913 centimeters squared plus or minus converting the 2.7% back to a number that would be 25 centimeters squared which means it could be as big as 938 or as small as 888. Okay, now one more thing here. Here we have the uncertainty in two significant figures and here it's only in one significant figure. That doesn't seem right, does it? We really should convert this so that this only has one significant figure, which means we want to bump that up to the next decimal or no, we should bump that up to the next number where it contains only one significant figure which would be 30 centimeters squared. So this should be written as 913 centimeters squared plus or minus 30 centimeters squared so that this only has one significant figure just like it has over there. However, of course, be careful. It depends how you want to look at the number 30. Does the number 30 have one significant figure or does it have two significant figures? So if you want to be absolutely certain, you could still write it like this. 913 centimeters squared plus or minus 3 times 10 to the second power centimeters squared like that so to be absolutely certain however in most cases people will accept this as only being one significant figure under this particular context and that's how it's done